I will not eat a carb all day long. I won't eat carbs. All right, cheers. Oh, mm. can you please take a look at this? <laughs> and I really love beer. Ugh. Wow. Ugh. This is probably the healthiest thing. But you gotta remember, I'm like, I'm eating no carbs. <laughs> The dog needs a bone. And that bone is some, some Guinness at the end of the night, and I just would like to be able to have a couple pints. Uh, uh, uh. Cecile Suede, and in this video, I'm going to be attempting a day in the diet of Jason Momoa. More specifically, I'm following his diet plan for his role in Aquaman. So I'm going to eat like Jason Momoa for a day, and this diet plan is going to be absolutely insane. So his diet calls for a little over 2,500 plus calories, coming from four clean meals, specifically being very high in fat, very low in carbs and super high in protein. And also, today's diet is going to include a whole lot of beer. Yes, beer, you heard me correctly. But anyways guys, let's go ahead and just get right into it. It's gonna be insane. I want you all to smash the like button right now on this video if you enjoyed the movie Aquaman or if you're a fan of Jason Moe in general. I think he is a sick dude. Seriously, I'd love to hang out with him for a day. Literally the coolest guy ever, but. Hey, hi, I'm Jason Momoa. I like beer and throw tomahawks. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started with meal number one in Jason Momoa's diet plan. <laughs> Well, today is going to be absolutely no joke. So meal number one is about to go down and we have got the weirdest mixture of foods you could possibly think of. So hear me out here. Meal number one is going to consist of a peanut butter sandwich with two slices of gluten-free bread and then two tablespoons of natural peanut butter. And we've also got a can of sardines. So never in my life did I ever think I'd have to eat sardines with a peanut butter sandwich. Neither do I even think that's legal. However, as usual with my YouTube videos, I'm pretty much a test bunny on these diet plans. So we're gonna give this a shot and I'll tell you guys how it is. So anyways, I'm just gonna get right to it. We're gonna start with the peanut butter sandwich just so I can give my taste buds just a little bit of good stuff before, before this. Oh, it's so dry. <clears throat> wow, that could really use a glass of milk. However, unfortunately, there is no milk in Jason Momoa's diet plan. Okay, now that the peanut butter sandwich is out of the way, time to move on to the sardines. I can't believe I'm even saying that. However, let's go ahead, <laughs> open this up, and uh, give this a try. I'm really not excited about this. Okay, look at this. Ugh, man. Why, Jason? Why? <laughs> okay. Oh gosh, still got the taste of peanut butter in my mouth. All right, cheers. Okay. Oh, can confirm sardines and peanut butter and bread definitely don't go well together. Oh. 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 Can you please take a look at this? Mm. Okay, the sardines have officially been down. Don't ever combine a peanut butter sandwich with a can of sardines unless your taste buds are seriously made of steel. Okay guys, anyways, that's gonna wrap up meal number one. Now this is actually going to be the pre-workout meal. So Jason Momoa typically likes to train after the first meal of the day. So that's what we are going to be doing today. So I'll see every single one of you in the gym. Oh, today's workout is going to be rough.
So I just got back from the gym and just a few notes about today's workout. Number one, sardines pre-workout. Definitely don't recommend that, okay? And then number two, of course, as usual, if you all want to see me attempt Jason Momoa's workout plan, all you gotta do is simply give the video a like. If we can get this video to over 5,000 plus likes, then I will personally attempt Jason Momoa's workout and get that video out to you all as soon as possible. And of course, number three, for those of you that are constantly asking me what specific workout routine I follow in the gym, I personally follow my five days per week workout plan in my 12 week physique program. So if you personally wanna check that out yourself and give it a try, I'll be sure to link that first thing in the description box down below. Make sure you click that first link and check it out yourself because it is currently 30% off and I guarantee you're gonna get the best results ever. But anyways guys, I am sitting down to Jason Moa's post workout meal and what we've got here is nine ounces of cooked salmon, a cup of cooked spinach, and also half an avocado. Now you might be wondering, where are the post-workout carbs? Let me show you. Here are the post-workout carbs. Guinness beer. Yes, beer, you heard that correctly. So Jason Momoa replaces all of the carbohydrates in his diet plan with beer. The guy absolutely needs to have his beer every single day, even when he's dieting. And I really love beer. I will not eat a carb all day long. I won't eat carbs. And this is probably the healthiest thing. But you gotta remember, I'm like, I'm eating no carbs. The dog needs a bone. And that bone is some, some Guinness at the end of the night. And I just <laughs> like to be able to have a couple pints. My body's really used to that. Here's where it gets a little bit tricky for me, guys. And here's where you shouldn't do as I do. So I personally have celiac disease, which means that my body doesn't process nor digest gluten at all. So I need to stay away from gluten at all costs. And of course, beer is pure gluten. And I looked everywhere in the grocery store. However, I just could not find gluten-free beer so I'm just gonna take this hundred percent serious and say screw it I'm gonna drink this beer for the YouTube it's literally for you guys so yeah wish me luck comment down below let me know if I'm gonna make it well I guess by the time this video comes out you'll know if I make it or not but in all seriousness guys just a little bit of a disclaimer here when I personally do accidentally have gluten even while having celiac disease for me it doesn't really affect me short term it's just really long term in terms of having you know maintaining good health and digestive system you don't want to have gluten even if you have celiac disease and don't personally feel anything from it so might get a little bit of a stomach ache here but you know what Jason Momoa we are we're doing things right so anyways let's just get this challenge started with okay cheers Jason oh wow I really don't even remember the last time I had beer guys Woo. Okay, so beer, salmon, spinach, and avocado. What kind of diet plan is this, Jason Momoa? Give me a Guinness. Like, give me a Guinness. Ugh. Ugh, I cannot get over this beer and salmon mixture in my mouth. It just does not sit well at all. Okay, the meal has been finished. Now it is time to finish off this beard, which I'm honestly not looking forward to at all. Uh, this reminds me of my college days. Shouts out to Radford University. <laughs> Ugh, wow, okay. Ugh. I'm telling y'all, this does not sit well with Sam. Not one bit. What is this? Ugh, all right, the beer has been downed. Wow, that was a very interesting combination of meal. I really don't know how Jason Miller thoroughly enjoys this as his carb choice. Like, come on, man, why not rice or something? But I cracked two Guinness, pounded them, and my body's like. That was my, your carb. My, my whole thing, my whole body can see like my veins going like. I like the whole. I'm like, you wouldn't like me when I'm angry. I just start, I start <laughs> filling up. My muscles start filling up because I'm just it's so used to having. That's its sugar intake. Beer's the secret. It is for my for me. Anyways, guys, that's gonna conclude the post-workout meal. I'm gonna see you all for meal number three in just a little bit. I'm gonna need uh, some time to let this sit in, you know. So moving on to meal number three in Jason's diet, what we have here is 10 ounces of cooked sirloin steak, a cup of cooked spinach, and yet again, another half of an avocado. Now, there are no carbs, or in Jason's case, beer, for meal number three, thankfully. We're just gonna enjoy this and get a little bit of break from the beer. <music> 
You know what? I'll tell you one thing though. Beer definitely would have been better with steak other than salmon. Who can agree with that? Comment down below. <music> to be honest, I am not a fan of cooked spinach. I'd rather have steamed broccoli, but Popeye eats this stuff and it's got pretty big biceps, so we're gonna get it too. Oh yeah, I think that's the secret to big biceps. Cooked spinach. Or this massive juicy steak. Yeah, it's definitely a steak. You know, you eventually realize that these celebrity day in the diet challenges are pretty much one big jaw exercise. Seriously. Wow, that is a thick steak. Just constantly chewing. And there you have it guys, meal number three has been completed. I'm gonna rest up and then get to the last and final meal in Jason's diet in just a little bit. I am feeling pretty tired. Must have been the beer, but let's keep it going. Sitting down to the last and final meal in Jason Maloa's diet plan, which is going to include eight ounces of cooked chicken breast, half an avocado, a cup of cooked spinach, and of course, the most important carbohydrate source in Jason's diet, which is Guinness beer. My stomach is going to absolutely hate me by the end of the day, but you know what? Bottoms up. Okay, that does not look too pretty. Ugh, okay, I have beer dripping in my spinach. I don't think that's a part of Jason's diet. Might be, actually. There is nothing like some chicken breast to wash down your beer with. So the amount of spinach that I have used up just for today's diet is actually ridiculous. Seriously, I've used a whole family size, which is like 12 servings of spinach. Even though I'm not a fan of cooked spinach, I forgot if you struggle with getting your vegetables in for the day or at least five servings, just cook up some spinach. It is a very easy way to get those veggies in. Oh yeah, it might help if they're drenched in beer too. Ugh, last bite. Okay, now that the meal is out of the way, it's time to take down the Guinness beer. How fast do you guys think I could drink this? This is pretty much full. I only took one sip, so let's see. Uh, uh. Uh, this is definitely not sitting well in my stomach. Wonder why. Ah. Uh. Uh, there you have it. Beer has been completely chugged. Meal number four has been completed, aka the last and final meal in Jason's diet. I really hope you all enjoyed this video because major sacrifices were made. So the total macros and calories in Jason Momoa's diet consisted of 2,000 557 calories coming from 85 grams of carbs, 127 grams of fat, and 207 grams of protein. And remember guys, a majority of Jason Moa's carbohydrates came from beer. The dog needs a bone, and that bone is some, some Guinness at the end of the night, and I just would like to be able to have a couple pints. Literally the main source of his carbs, despite the bread from meal number one, but I think that is pretty insane. However, it goes to show you that I really respect Jason for taking a flexible dieting approach. Apparently in a ton of his interviews and in a lot of articles online, I found out that he actually practices counting his macronutrients, you know, his carbs, proteins, and fats, and he actually uses a realistic approach to his protein intake and his fats as well versus other celebrities who are just pummeling down and shoveling hundreds of grams of protein when they don't need to do that. So considering he's like a 230 pound monster, 207 grams of protein seems pretty fair along with his higher fat and lower carb intake. And of course, he loves his beer and he gets to include it into his diet every single day and still look the way he does. So look guys, I actually do have an ebook all about flexible dieting, teaching you exactly how you can enjoy a flexible approach to your diet every single day and still get the best results possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and link that right under the 12 week physique program. It's my 12 week physique diet plan. It's literally 55 pages that shows you exactly how to diet, exactly how to be flexible with it and really just live this lifestyle just like Jason does. And of course, there's also full meal plans for the next 12 weeks with caloric intakes and specific carb protein and fat intakes for your specific body type in that ebook. So make sure you check it out. I'm gonna link it in the description again, right under the 12 week physique and pick that up yourself if you want to check it out it's very very cheap and the knowledge literally will last you a lifetime but anyways guys thank you so much for watching that's going to conclude jason momoa's diet i really hope you all enjoyed this if you want to see me attempt jason
Jason Momoa's workout. Again, all you gotta do is smash the like button. We can get the video to over 5,000 plus likes. I'm gonna get that video up to you all as soon as possible. And of course, if you are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button right now, literally right now. Hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell right next to it immediately so you're staying tuned on when I upload new YouTube videos every single week. You don't wanna miss out on it. And one more thing as well, I want every single one of you to just pause the video and follow me on Instagram, at the seal suede. It's literally so you all can give me video ideas, comment on my posts, let me know what you wanna see on my YouTube. We get to connect every single day and I'm also posting every single day with lots of helpful and entertaining stuff on there. So make sure you don't miss out and follow me on Instagram at a seal suede. Anyway, that is going to wrap up today's video. Let me know in the comment section down below which other celebrity day in the diet you want to see next. And of course, I'll see every single one of you in the next video. And that feels pretty darn good.